It was November 5th of 1975 when I arrived in Moscow. I was the a single woman arriving there late at, late in the afternoon. It was dark, it was frigid. It was the Brezhnev era. That means that the government was very intolerant of foreigners and the Americans who worked there in the embassy were were very much uh, watched and listened to and kept all together. I was the only female operations officer. I discovered that no one was following me. My chief of station who had selected me for this position, he said that the Soviet KGB probably would not pay any attention to me because I was a woman. This was a great boon because then they realized that I had the freedom to move around the city without being followed. Why was CIA in Moscow at the time? In one case, we had recruited um, a Soviet official in a Latin American capital. We codenamed him Trigon. And he was a very bright, very capable officer in the Soviet embassy. He was in a position in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs where he had access to all the ambassadors, the Soviet ambassadors documents that they sent back from Soviet embassies all around the world. Our, our main goal then was to get him his miniature camera uh, so that he could sit at his desk and take pictures of all these documents. So we recruited him and he agreed to come back to Moscow to work secretly for the CIA. He required that we give him a poison pen when he got back to Moscow, so that in the event he was arrested and faced torture, he could commit suicide. This decision was made at the highest part of our government, um, and we all agreed that this was probably a moral thing to do. My job was to communicate with Trigon. We were restricted to what were dead drops. These were caches that we put in very obscure places. He knew where it was, and of course, I knew where it was. This was always at night under the cover of darkness. It worked very well. We minimized the time that the package was on the ground and uh, the risk of leaving a valuable package with film in it. So we did this many times in Moscow and um, we were absolutely shocked at what headquarters said about the value of, of the information he was providing. He was giving us material that we had no other way of obtaining. It was our window on what was happening in the Soviet Union during this very hot time in the Cold War.